You know, I spend a lot of time over there, standing on stage away from my chair, turning the news into a great Christmas feast full of who pudding and rare who roast beast. <laughs> Where we exchange presents and light the Yule log for the great Whoville Christmas that is my monologue. But sometimes I pull a great Grinchy trick and dress up in red to look like St. Nick, take my dog Benny and then some black thread and tie a big horn to the top of his head. And I pilfer each present for many a mile to steal the Christmas of news that is my segment. It's a Christmas miracle. It, it rhymed. It's a Christmas miracle, Judge. Hey. Meanwhile, it's nothing. Ah. There's nothing ah. you can't do with meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, in deep fried holiday news, Walmart is selling KFC fried chicken scented fire logs <laughs> this holiday season. Perfect for people who are nostalgic for the smell of Christmas at Dad's new apartment. <laughs> This is just as fun, right, kids? Look. Look, my bed's in the wall. <laughs> but don't let the smell fool you. The KFC log is made from 100% recycled wax cardboard. So, the same recipe as their potatoes. Oh! Meanwhile... Oh, shots fired. Meanwhile, Walmart has apologized for selling a sweater featuring Santa <laughs> with cocaine. Yes, it features St. Nick behind a table... <laughs> Doing rails with the phrase, doing rails with the phrase, let it snow. Listen, look, I know it's shocking, but eventually all kids learn the truth. There is a Santa Claus, and the only way he can move fast enough to cover the entire world in one night is with the help of a little candy cane, you know, some, some North Pole marching powder. You know what I'm talking about? A little, a little, uh, a little high-speed reindeer feed, a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed candy. <laughs> what I'm saying, he has a real problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, China is developing mutant pigs that could help save them from the pork apocalypse. <laughs> yes, the pork apocalypse. Or is it known in America, breakfast. <laughs> Apparently, these mutant pigs are fortified with a gene for regulating heat, buffering them against hypothermia-induced winters. In America, we already solved the problem of keeping pigs warm. We give them blankets. <laughs> Look how toasty they are. I'll see you at Christmas. I'll see you at the Christmas party. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, at this year's Art Basel Festival in Miami, a banana was duct taped to a wall in a piece entitled Comedian and priced at $120,000. That's ridiculous. At Whole Foods, that'll get you like three bananas. <laughs> crazy. $120,000. It's just crazy. Uh -huh. But the plot thickened this weekend when a performance artist walked into the gallery, took the banana off the wall, peeled it, and then ate it <laughs> in a piece he titled Hungry Artist. A prime example of how modern art has become just a crass exercise in self-referential profiteering. And a great source of potassium. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the first time in history, Muhammad is one of America's top ten baby names, which is great, but keep in mind the list combines names that sound similar but have alternate spellings like Muhammad and Mohammed. Okay! <laughs> That's where I draw the line. Combining the spellings of different names is unnatural. For instance, I'm a P.H. Steven. We're good people. Those V. Stevens, human garbage. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ed Harris. I'm sorry.